I get to work for Trees for Seattle, and Trees for Seattle is a, a program that it just helps all of us celebrate trees. I always, this was mind blowing to me when I took this job. I don't know if you know this, but in Seattle, people who live here, so us, we actually own or have on our lands 70% of Seattle's trees. 70% of the trees in Seattle. So today we're gonna to be planting trees, but I hope that you also kind of learn some things about how to care for trees, how to plant a tree in your yard. These are kind of big. Usually most people don't plant trees that large in their yard, but you never know. Um, and you know, feel free to ask questions. We have Heidi over here, Ask an Arborist. Um, Heidi works for Seattle City Light. So if you've got any utility questions or line questions for her, you can try and stump her. She's amazing. She's been in the city for a long time and has worked for parks as well. So she can answer all your tree related questions. We have incredible plants for you to take home over here. So please make sure that you take a plant if you'd like to. They're uh, plants native to this area and they're pretty, pretty special. They're some of my favorites. Um, and we've got lots of information about other planting that's happening. So this just makes me so excited <laughs> for more planting. We have more planting happening next weekend at Green Seattle Day. So Lisa can give you all the information about that. If you haven't signed in and gotten a name tag, we have a sign-in sheet here at the Trees for Seattle booth. Um, we have Michael and Michael is going to be offering forest therapy. So if you're planting and you want to take a break, we're going to actually offer two forest therapy sessions, um, some mini sessions. And right now we talked about one o'clock, but we might push it back. So um, feel free to check in with him and he's going to offer that. We have lots of kids activities over there with tiny trees. And so that's Karen over there. She's waving. <laughs> and so if you're a kid or you see any kids, feel free to send them over there. Um, or if for... you want to be a kid. Or, uh, thank you. Yeah. You're right. If you're young at heart, you can absolutely go and participate in kids' activities as well. Um, and then Ed is also here and he's going to be offering some birding. We've already spotted a snow goose, uh, so pretty exciting. I will say that was Mark Malone who spotted it and I was like, oh, it's probably just someone releasing some like strange goose. <laughs> like I couldn't believe it would actually be a snow goose there it is. migrating through. Oh, there it is! Right over here. So, pretty bad. Um, over by the table over here. It's bright white. So if you see a bright white goose. talking about it now. Yeah, now it's like someone's there. Um, and then, of course, many of you are here probably to volunteer and to get your hands dirty. We do have gloves over here and ask that everybody grab a pair of gloves before getting started. And then we're going to kind of break into some different groups. Everyone can try everything. Please feel free to try everything we've got going on. Um, but Mark and his team at Parks are going to be leading tree planting. We did go ahead and dig the, for you for us today. We don't normally, but we haven't gotten a ton of rain. So the gravel was incredibly hard. Usually it's been raining for weeks here in Seattle at this time of year, but it hasn't this year, as you well know. So we had to do a little, uh, little support for us. So, um, but we have beautiful conifers, um, and we also have some ginkgos and Gary Oaks, is that right? Correct. That we're planting today. And some of these trees had to be removed from the park and we're putting them back in. But this park is about to get a $2 million renovation. The community has been working so hard. If you know any other people who are from Rainier Beach, they have been working so hard at this. Link to Lake has some incredible information about what's going on here. And so this is just going to be adding to shade in this park, cleaner air in this park, but also just, they're looking pretty, right? Like they're so beautiful. Um, so please feel free to literally dig in and help plant some trees with Mark and his crew. We have Wit and Anne Marie and Paul who are gonna be leading some mulching because we can't just put the trees in the ground. We wanna go ahead and put nice mulch around them and that keeps them moist throughout the year. It actually also helps weeds stay away from the trunk. Um, and so they'll be leading some mulching we're also going to be mulching some other areas, hopefully kind of giving us a refresh in this far corner of the park, which is not included in the, res in the um, big renovation that's happening. Um, and then also you might see um, Byron, I know looks like you'd be willing to help out, I think. Um, and there's some uh, community service officers and they're just doing litter pickup. So if that's more your speed or if you just want to come and take pictures or just hang out, 
you don't have to work to be here. We'd love to have you no matter what. Um, and so there are trash grabbers here. And in the blue uh, bag, there's community cleanup bags. They're bright yellow and those get picked up for free. Um, and so we can just put them all together and those will get taken care of. So if anyone would love to pick up trash throughout the park, um, I know that everyone who lives around the park would love your help. So that I think is all of the major information. Oh yeah, I have one more person. Would you like to say? Yes, yeah. hi, my name is Sue and I'm on the, uh, one of the founding members of the board of the Rainier Beach Urban Farm and Wetlands, which is right on the other side of the fence over there. I came down to open up the gate so you all could come in and take a look, but I can't get the padlock to unlock, so <laughs> sorry. But you have another chance. Next weekend, we're gonna be doing more planting over there on Saturday from 11 to two. And we're also um, gonna do it in conjunction with our monthly community kitchen dinner, which will have a pumpkin theme. We're gonna have pumpkin soup, pumpkin muffins, pumpkin mochi, pumpkin toasted seeds. Um, oh, wow. Yeah, cider press, nature activities for kids, all kinds of stuff going on, tours of the, the forest over there. We've been doing, since we got on the land um, in 2010, we've been doing a lot of restoration of the, the forest and the wetlands over there too. So come and take a look and see what we got going on and enjoy some delicious food. Nice. Thank you. I'm gonna take one minute, take a deep breath for myself. And I just also wanna say, I just want to hold, um, all of the care of this place that we that has happened since time immemorial um, our first people who were here who have been caring for this land um, i just really want to express gratitude to all of you for like continuing that legacy and being here today um, and in the spirit of that i want to say please treat your body well so we are going to ask that you if you're using tools that you store them with the pointy ends down we're gonna ask that if you have that moment where you're like, ooh, should I push it a little too far? Should I just go for it and do this by myself? Maybe ask someone for some support. We're gonna ask that you be really careful about your back, especially if you're working in mulching. You know, use those legs to lift, maybe not twist. Instead, kind of move your body. And I know each person, each of the teams who are, who are helping us, they're gonna give you some more safety pointers. Please make sure to wear your gloves. But then also, please feed and water yourself. Not just our trees need water, you also need water. I've got um, sparkling water over here and we have more. We have a big water bucket if you would like to do water. Um, Mark actually suggested, if you haven't had Umami Kushi, fantastic local oh restaurant. And we've yeah. got a kazu pan over here. There's a vegan version, a veggie version, a meat and two meat versions for you. Please grab that. We have some gluten-free granola bars. We've got fruit and cheese, hopefully, you have everything you need, but if you don't have anything that you need, please talk to me. And then finally, we do have a first aid kit. The first aid kit is always right over here in the um, urban forestry trailer, but anybody in orange vest can help you. If you need something like that, please let us know. And if you're in orange vest and you don't know where to go, ask me, I'm happy to help. And I'll try to be around here right in the middle. And then finally, to uh, the other type of watering yourself, there is a restroom right over there. That porta potty is open. That PO porta potty is for us today. It is clean and just for us. So we're excited to have you here. Can you tell us the uh, reason the park is named here, Sheila? Oh, that is a great question. Does anybody know the answer to that question? I think it's a it's a sister, it's a sister park. City. Yeah, it's yeah, it's a sister city in, Israel. in Israel. I know that part. Um, and so actually, by the way, that's why we're having this on a Sunday. There are several uh, folks who live in the neighborhood who wanted to stop by. And we always have events on Saturday. And if you're Jewish, which I am, it's Shabbat. And so depending on how you, how you um, hold your, your, um, yourself and tradition, you might not be lifting anything on a day like today. So we wanted to have this at a time. And uh, also spoke with some others who were like, we can't do it during church. So this is a great time and we're glad to have you all here. So it's the first time we've ever had a, an Arbor Day on a Sunday in the afternoon and so far I'm loving it. So especially with the sunshine and great weather. So, all right. Yes, welcome. Thank you all.